Department of Justice is called in to ease tension between the Dayton Police Department and supporters of a suspect who jumped to his death. Good evening. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. And I'm Mark Allen. Just hours ago this evening, dozens marched across the Salem Avenue Bridge in Dayton. That is where police say Kylan English committed suicide when he jumped from that very bridge. But these protesters are not buying that version of the story. Alexa Ashwell begins our team coverage of this controversy with new video on the events leading up to English's death. Well, Mark Michelle, first let me just say the community relations representatives with the Department of Justice will be here in Dayton tomorrow. They'll be speaking with police and then members of the community. This comes at the request of Dayton Police Chief Richard Beal, who hopes it will help bridge the gap between law enforcement and members of the community, a gap that seems to be increasing since the death of Kylan English. Good afternoon, I'm Richard Beal. Chief Richard Beal breaks down the timeline of events leading to Kylan English's death. English died July 16th after police say he escaped from a cruiser and jumped off the Salem Avenue Bridge. But friends and family members of the 20-year-old still aren't buying it. So today, Chief Beal revealed additional surveillance video, this showing English arriving at the Montgomery County Jail for booking. As you can see, Officer McGill just let uh, Mr. English out of the cruiser. He just uh, appears to uh, secure his firearm in the trunk of the cruiser. What happens after that is what's prompting some to claim police brutality. This footage shows English standing in handcuffs while the arresting officer fills out a booking slip. It was during this time officials say English began banging his head against the cement wall, causing him to collapse. You can't see this because the video system only captures every few seconds. Some charge it was then English was tased, but Chief Beal says that's not true. It's pretty clear you're going to have to have a booking slip when you go through that door. It's very clear that he is standing at the booking slip station. He reaches up with his left hand and then turns, and this white object is in. We don't, tasers aren't white. They're dark with a little bit of yellow striping. Chief Beal also released the arresting officer's tasing report, proving it had only been discharged once at 3.49 p.m., well before English's arrest. Even so, many are still questioning how a man who looks so weak could smash through a police cruiser windshield and dive off a bridge, and why it took the officer so long to react. How quick can you move in four to five seconds out of a seated position in a car? That's what's at issue here. It is a very, very short period of time particularly when you have to go around the car because the individual is on the other side of the car. Now, Chief Beal also released dash cam video of the officer transporting English to the hospital. He says this is still an ongoing investigation. If you have any information, report it at 333-1018. Internal Affairs is handling this investigation, and the FBI will be reviewing it. Reporting live, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News on your side.